Hello everybody and welcome back to Improvised Chemistry. Today I'll be teaching you how to make your very own siphon. I also call this a portable sink because when you press the bicycle pump like this, water comes through the other end. Now this is very useful if you want to fill up containers with water for your experiments without running back into the kitchen so you can save time. This can be also used for many other reasons such as washing your hands and cleaning dirty equipment. And today, I'll be showing you how to make your very own bicycle siphon, or a portable sink. Alright, so we'll be doing the project inside, and so for this project you'll be needing a milk jug with its cap gallon size just to let you know a marker of some sort some rubber tubing and you also need a bicycle pump and some sort of cutting device like scissors or a tack now let's get started so first we're going to get our cap and then we're going to get some of the rubber tubing we're going to get our marker we're going to trace the circle now that we have a hole, we're going to cut it out. Right, for this part, we're going to get a nail. We're going to nail it right through the circle. Now that we have a nail, now we have a hole, I mean. We're going to push it through, put it like that. And we're going to stick some scissors in there to cut the rest of the circle out. All right, now that we made a hole, let's see if the rubber tubing fits through. It fits through quite nicely. As you can see, it's pretty airtight, which is what we want. There you go. Okay, so you'll know that it's the right length if you put it on the bottom like that. And it's pretty much the same height as your bottle, so that's good. But that's not all. You're gonna get a tack, and then you're gonna poke a hole on the other side. This is where the bicycle pump needle is going to go through. Okay, so we just make a pump, make a hole right there, just like that. If you know what a bicycle pump needle looks like, it's not very big, it's not very thick, so it's gonna fit in here. All right, next, we're gonna put the cap and the rubber tubing together. You're gonna put the cap halfway through the tubing. And to find out where halfway is, just bend it in half, and there it is. So on one end, I'm gonna put it in like this. And then we're going to hold it here. We're gonna pull it to halfway, right? And now that it's at halfway, good everything's good then we're gonna make it airtight by using a hot glue gun and we're gonna seal the connection and don't forget about the other side now just set it to cool all right so now all you need to do is put them together and just put bicycle pump needle in just like that and then you're gonna obviously attach the bicycle pump to your bicycle pump needle like so there we go all right let's go put some water in this okay I'm at my bathtub and what we're going to do is we're just simply going to fill this up, just like that. After that, just put the bicycle pump needle in where it's supposed to be, start pumping. And you see, and as you can see, water is coming out, just like that. This is how you do it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.